So we now have um, two video clips for you. The first of these video clips shows a relatively straightforward bleb needling revision. It's actually a sub tenons bleb needling revision. And the second video clip shows a more complex type of bleb needling revision, a combined sub tenons and sub scleral flap needling revision. So this first sequence of video, I perform all my bleb needling revisions under topical anesthesia. And as you can see, I've got a guarded McCool speculum in place and the lashes are out of the operative field. It's very important to have good access for this uh, procedure. And one can use uh, a squint hook to infraduct the eye, or nowadays I tend to use a simple triangular sphere to infraduct the eye where necessary, which uh, is a little bit less traumatic for the inferior uh, fornix and inferior conjunctiva. Throughout the procedure, I ask the patient to look down and I keep talking to the patient. As with all surgery under topical anesthesia, it's important to keep the patient calm and a good steady dialogue helps. So the patient is now infraducting. I try and keep the operative field dry. Particularly, I, I like to have a nice dry superior conjunctiva before I enter with the bent 27 gauge needle. So in my right hand there's the 27 gauge needle, in my left hand uh, just a pair of grooved micro forceps. And the needle's bent to about 120 degrees or so. Now the next step is absolutely critical and what I'm doing is I'm pulling down the superior conjunctival tissues so that my needle entry point will be at least 10 millimeters and perhaps further from the limbus. As the needle tip goes in, the key step is to make sure that there's no lateral movement of your hand. Your hand has to be very well supported. If there's lateral movement, what will happen is instead of it being a nice single tight needle entry, it will enlarge, particularly if the tissues are very thin. And you'll then have the unfortunate uh, occurrence of free flow of aqueous through your posterior entry sites, which may even in extreme cases need suturing. So it's very important to control your, your, your dominant hand. So the needle tip goes in into the subconjunctival space. And it's very important to know exactly where your needle tip is all the time. If you enjoyed this lecture so far, please subscribe to http colon forward slash forward slash op dot vision. I hope you enjoyed this series as much as we have putting it together. Thank you.